Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina with my friend Freddie the Teddy. Today's Saturday, the 7th of January 2023 and this is your card of the day. Okay, I just had to do a take two. This um, Logitech uh, camera that I have mounted on a tripod you know if i go ahead and put something in front of it like i put the cards up just now it'll go blurry and it won't go back right till i reset it so apologies i did do my shuffle um and i was explaining that sometimes the cards come out upside down like this i just read that the right way up um i don't see the point in giving somebody a um an inverted reading unless I feel like the energy of today might require it if something happens or something occurs that might mean that I've got to interpret it that way but usually the spirits will tell me all right we've got the four of fire fire is action it's related to wands in traditional tarot and the number four is all four corners are good to go here we see a couple in front of this house and they are dancing. There's flowers everywhere. And the message here is so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for peace and prosperity coming to you. Also peace and contentment in your personal life. Now, what I love about this angel wisdom tarot deck is we get the archangel in the bottom corner, the symbol, um, Archangel Jophiel, the Archangel of Beauty, the Archangel of all things beautiful, the, Arta the Archangel that helps us recognize the beauty that we have within us and the color that she resonates um, most often is pink, typically bright magenta. I have seen a soft pale pink coming when it's sort of tenderness that feeling of tender beauty uh she'll come um now when jophiel presents herself to me as she has done lately she's almost like this image here a bit like a flamenco dancer because I hear beautiful music and I hear that enchanting kind of like get up and go, the romance of the like the tango type music going. So I get the sense, well, that's Joe Fiel's energy right here. Um, the other symbol that I like here is that this is uh, the card number 17 in the major arcana. So the two sort of are related. Now, if I go to card number 17 in this guidebook let's see if we can pull it up um it's the star and i'm going to read it archangel jophiel shows her complete faith by pouring from the urns without any concern for the water running out you can make a wish upon a star a wish on the star over her shoulder now this is not in this card this would be in the major card but these two are related so if i go to the four of fire i can um, um bring you the meaning for today's energy and you know what i'm going to invite you to interpret this any way you want to but the general meaning of today's card is celebration it's gratitude, being grateful for your blessings. I'd even say get your book of affirmations out, um, something to the effect of my services are needed and will be received with gladness. You can also say something like everything I create today will be blessed. Um, love and light you can go to abundance is linked with the frequency of my heart and my heart is wide open to all the joys and blessings of today but let's read what it has to say this is such a wonderful time your hard work has brought you so much of a reason to rejoice and you feel gratitude way down into your heart remember to share that gratitude with the divine and your angels you might also want to remember to say a word of thanks to family and friends who have supported you. This is a card 
of financial security, contentment, and personal peace. It can indicate occasions to be joyful, such as an engagement, a marriage, or moving in with a romantic partner. Heartwarmings or pregnancies. Every day, give thanks for something in your life. You can do so aloud or just in silent prayer. Either way, it's important as gratitude brings further joy into your life. Feeling that life is wonderful. Get in the energy of having pride in everything you've accomplished. Um, even if you've just accomplished a successful project, sit back, look at it, see what you actually physically manifested. Um, this is all about being uh, contented in your personal life, contented with your home. Um, you know, I have to say, I just got through writing in my new, um, let's see, my new journal here. It started in January. The other one I used up, I used every page of it up in 2022. So I found this at um, a bookstore. Um, it's just an empty notebook. And, um, you know, I was doing my writing this morning in it, which I do before I come on and do these videos. Um, let's see. You can um, you see my, because there is, really is so much to be grateful for. Like you see my scratchings on these pages. What I say, first thing I said was, I am grateful this morning the angels and the spirit guides are with me and that you've come to help me today. And uh, and I'm willing to work in joy and in light of the divine. Thank you for trusting me with your messages and for helping me to deliver the messages to others with love and with joy. Um, you know, these sort of, sort of things, we have to sort of do it. We have to keep doing it. Um, what I know and what I now believe of the spirit world is 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 that, and I didn't always believe it, I always thought that, you know, if I can't see it, if I can't touch it, if I can't smell it, if I can't physically connect to it, then it cannot be real. And that is just hocus pocus rubbish, uh, because I now know differently. Um, it did take practice. I have to say part of the practice is my ego getting out of the freaking way and stop telling me that this isn't right, that this isn't real, that this is a load of bunkum. I had to get past that piece. That's just part of the process of coming into that sense of joy, coming into that sense of peace, coming to that sense of understanding that everything will work out. And even in the days where you get lots of days where it is working out, it is so easy to forget, particularly when something pops up and we're not sure what to do with it. The scare, the big bill, the email that says, I'm so sorry, this has been blocked, that has been stopped, whatever you wanted, you can have. Those are still going to come up. I look at them now like a boulder on my path. And I got two choices. <laughs> well, actually one, pick the boulder up, look at it, move it out of the way. Because nothing should get in the way of moving forward. And this card today, four of fire, is saying, get that fire in your belly. Oh, I've got goosebumps everywhere. So I know they're around. When I when my body just fills up with these with these that your hair stands on end, that's my indication that there are there are these angels around, there's these spirits around. Now I've recently been in that quagmire of well, well what's the difference between an angel? Never been in never been in human form, and a spirit guide, they've been in human form. That's the difference. They kind of exist in different sorts of vibrational realms. But that's almost like, why do you need to know where, what realm they're in? What you need to know is the difference between them. What I will say, if you are of pure heart, if you are of pure intention, if your intention is to be for the highest good of everyone else and yourself, you've got to remember yourself. When there are times when you give so much of yourself to other people away, the lesson is you're spent, you're exhausted, you didn't keep enough back for you. The ego tries to convince us that when we give ourselves something, when we bless ourselves with something, when we treat ourselves to, I don't know, a gift, 
we're extravagant, like yesterday's energy was be frivolous. When we do that, when we choose to take time for us, there's this really annoying, frustrating, egoic program that says it's selfish. That is such rubbish. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. You deserve to stand up on your pedestal and you deserve to shine bright. Because you're going to help others figure out a way to be just as deserving. Now, I know in my personal life, there was a little bit of a time where I kept thinking, oh, I got this, I'm all good to go. I have all that kumbaya running through my, my, my body. But other people didn't. So you feel almost guilty for having all that juju going on because, you know, the people that don't just want to be like, who the hell do you think you are? Excuse me. So that takes a bit of practice too. It takes a bit of grace, takes a bit of understanding, but your guides, your spirits, if you know they're around, they help you do it. They've helped me do it. They've sent me messages. All right, tone it down a bit, Kevin. This person's not having a great day. And then there are those days where you forget to put yourself in that blue light of protection from Archangel Michael and you start absorbing all this stuff from all these folks. They Listen, you're a light. You're full of light. You're full of joy. You're full of all those things that you're supposed to be filled with. Oh, let me tell you something. That's like a magnet. To those people that went through the, jo- the grocery store and they kept filling their wagon out with joy be gone, they've got no joy. They've got no this. And it's everywhere. You look at it. You see it. They want what you've got. A bit like energy vampires. Now, what do you do with those people? Not a lot. But as you keep celebrating, as you keep giving thanks, as you keep saying, I'm grateful. I am truly, truly grateful to see it, to understand it, to move past it, to get this boulder out of the way. Thank you for helping me lift it. When you do all of this, all those other things, the vibration is not on your level. So it doesn't seem to be attracting you or you're not attracting it. I'm hoping I'm making sense. Listen, I know when I got to be quiet. Have a great day. Celebrate the fact that both your feet are on the floor. You can have whatever guides, angels, even grandma that went to the other side, great grandpa, uncle, anyone in your life that has passed and ascended. They're celebrating the fact that you get to do what you get to do and they're going to encourage you to do it. All right, until tomorrow, you have my love, you have my blessings. Keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Let's get these numbers up. Bye.